Hello all my convicts and cover coaches, just a design of convict bringing you guys and gals a new video. So yes, here we are, back on YouTube. Um, yeah, so we'll, we'll keep on doing what we do. We'll keep on doing the videos and, you know, hopefully one day we will get things sorted out in terms of the uh, YouTube channel. So uh, hopefully, fingers crossed, please do share that and go onto Twitter. Uh, on Twitter, I've posted a couple of tweets tweets to uh, Susan, who is the CEO of YouTube and whatnot. If you can please like them, then uh, hopefully we'll get this resolved quicker with mass likage because then uh, they'll see it or it'll be, become big enough that they'll have to see it and have to deal with it. Anyway, today is another unboxing. So without further ado, let's get to it and let's talk about it. So I did show this on stream, but I'm going to do another to talk about this a little bit and just to give you my thoughts and feelings on this in particular. So today we are going to be relooking at this, the ZY XL, uh, ZY XEL. It's a VDSL gateway. It's the VMG 1312-T20B. Uh, it's a wireless N VDSL to four part gateway with USB. Basically, it's what it says. So if you've been living under a rock and you don't know, on Monday, Monday the 28th, we are swapping from BT to B Online. B Online is a London company. It's a small company, but it deals in businesses. Uh, or business end of uh, broadband or those kind of connections and, and whatnot. So I decided to make the change. I was looking around potentially for a provider that was a bit cheaper and potentially that wasn't as well known as some of the bigger groups such as like Sky, BT, Orange, EE, TalkTalk, Talk, Vodafone. You, you get the idea, you get the plan. So what I wanted to do is kind of look into a company that we could actually use. And that's where B Online came in. Because I saw B Online, there was another one called Zodi, somewhat, or somewhat weird. Like it was a really odd name beginning with Z. Uh, I tried to contact them, but they just were, they, they just seemed so weird. Every time I tried contacting people, putting phone downs and stuff. And I was like, yeah, I'm, I'm not going with a company that can't even answer the phone, right? So uh we, we scrapped that one. So we, we came over here to be online and then we got this uh, new router. So put the, the new connector on it. Now this is what the router looks like. There you go. It's a tiny little thing. And this clips onto the bottom, which I clipped on during the live stream. Now I'll be careful here because obviously I'll be showing details off, but if I turn it around there, you can see the ports on the back to power and obviously where the VDSL would go into uh, to obviously power the whole thing. And then from the front, we've got all these little lights on the front here, which says power internet, LAN 4, 3, 2, 1, USB, WLAN, WPS and DSL uh, on there as well. So there is the new modern router uh, that we're going to have and that we're going to be using. Um, it is tiny. Got some little parts on the side here as well. You can see where you can press. One is for WLAN, the other one is for WPS. You can just click these and, and then obviously use these. So the WLAN, wireless LAN, you can turn it on and off. Then you can press your one to uh, do WPS. For those who don't know what WPS is, if you want to sync like a printer or anything, you can press it and make it do WPS. And then you press this and it'll automatically sync. It'll find each other and then sync to each other. And then that, I think it just asks you to confirm it. And then there's a USB and a, a little reset button at the side here as well. Also, in this box, I'll bring you a bit further down so you guys can see. Maybe move you a bit further back. So also in the box, as you can see there, If I hold you there, you get this little compartment here. And as we open this little compartment, you get all the bag of mashings. We've got a filter, which I won't need because I do have a filter on the old line. On my brand new line, I don't, and I would need this. 
because it's a internet line only, but obviously for telephone line and that, I've got the other line on there. We've got the uh, the VDSL cable, or the ADSL cable, whatever you call them. We've got this, which looks very, very, um, yeah. I don't even know what, what, what is this? Let's have a look. I'm guessing it's a category, it's a category, apparently. Apparently it's a category five cable. It says cat five, cat dot five. It says cat dot five on this. Look, I definitely won't be using that. We don't want me using that. We've got a uh, little connector here for the plug. So if you live in America or you live, obviously Germany, or I think it's Germany and that, you would get that. And then uh, obviously you also get the UK style plug, which obviously is what I'll be using. And it's just a case of the old slap and tickle. There you go. There's a little power source. Boom. So yeah, there we go. So that's mainly the area of this in regards to this router. So look how small it's tiny. It's tiny. It's about, <laughs> it's about as big as my hand, which is kind of weird. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll see how we go. We have still got the other one, the Draytech Vigor 130. So if I don't like this one, I will probably use the, the Dre Tech figure. Uh, so one downside for be online, even though it wasn't expensive, you have to buy this. You don't get this free. You have to pay money for this. I think it was 12, I think it's 12 pounds or something with that, 12, 16 pounds. Somewhat weird, but it, very, very cheap. This is why I'm saying, obviously it's a small company. It's not like the other companies on there. Now, you're probably saying to me or screaming at my, my screen, what the hell are you doing? Small company. This not never look like trash. Um, well, obviously a small company is going to be a bit different to being with a bigger company like BT and that, that have these big corporations and everything like that. Especially if this is more like a, um, a small business uh, run in, uh, in London. Now, the idea to it is to kind of reduce our connection per se. Now, if it's a company that is not well known, then it's not going to have as many people on it as it would do if it was a big company. Because BT has thousands of connections running from them to providers. And they probably are the biggest known company for most people. So most people in your area will be BT, which means that's a hell of a lot of BT customers that they're providing for on the, obviously the, the, the exchanges that they have around, dotted around the, the whole world. And obviously the main area of our lines are provided by OpenReach, who used to be part of BT. Uh, they are now apparently two separate entities. So. You've got open reach and then you've got BT, uh, and obviously that's separate. Uh, they're separate entities from what it used to be. So I asked be online. Now I don't know if this is true because I'm not too sure. I could do with du double checking. I've got a, a really cool guy I spoke to today because uh, this shouldn't have come yet. It should have actually come on Friday or Saturday, but it came early and they was going to charge me for it. So charge me but it's declined because I didn't have the money in the account at the time. And it's like, well, I did, you know, I expected it to be ready for Monday for when the line was going and then I pay on Monday because I get paid on Monday, but apparently it didn't happen like that. So yeah, so I, I found out that's going to be sorted. Now the reasoning or the, the logic behind why I'm trying this is to try and reduce connection or reduce number of people I'm connected to when it comes to the exchanges and stuff. Cause some exchanges can have like over 1,200 connections 
to one exchange, which is a hell of a lot of people. Uh, so I'm trying to reduce that. The reason for this is we had, if you remember a while back, I don't know if you remember, you may, some may, some may not. We had a problem where my telephone line went out and I explained and said that obviously I couldn't do anything because the line was out. When the line came back on, remember when I did the video? I'll try and link it to this video here. But in the video, I was saying, wow, I can't believe how much lower my connection and how much better my connection is. And I was getting 15 ping. Do you remember that video? Some of you may, some of you may not. If you do remember, what happened is obviously when BT went down and the whole, all the street went down, I'm assuming what happened then is they could only put so many people back up and then obviously they had to do work on other lines or, or the other areas that were having problem and then eventually bring them back up, which is why my connection went from being solid 15 ping, which I've never had, or I think it was 15 to 12 ping, it was somewhere weird like that, I think it was 15. Uh, obviously, it'll explain in the video if I can find it and link it, if I can. And I was like, wow, my connection is just so much better. I was like, I can't believe how much uh, nicer this connection is. And I was getting 15 ping. I was like, this is brilliant. And then my ping went shot back up and I said, I even said in the video, I bet you, Tim, I bet you anything, this connection won't last. It'll go back up and I'm going to complain if it does. And it did, and it did complain. But unfortunately, like I said, it fell on it probably fell on deaf ears because they don't care. They're not bothered. So I, I said to him, I said, I want my 15 ping back. I had 15 ping. Why has it gone back up? And it was like, well, it might have just been that the line was taking time to settle again. I'm like, no, no. And I think what it was is because there is a lot of people I'm connected to. And obviously, because all those connections start to come back online, that traffic came back. And obviously, that slowdown in connection came back. And if you remember, a lot of people, especially Doc Hendricks, salute you buddy, and many of us know, I did an experiment. We did a GE8 FTTC connection, which was going kind of private least, but it was more like a, I would say more like a, priori a prioritization line where I was still on the same line I've got now, but from the fiber end, when it got to the exchange, which is five kilometers from where I live, it was then prioritized for my connection to be in front of everybody else's connection or to prioritize me first and my internet beyond everyone else's. So you can imagine a freeway where everyone's on traffic and then you've got the, you've got the hard shoulder. They, they were reserving the hard shoulder just for me so I could just keep on going and people would be sat in traffic and I'd be, yeah, see you later. Uh, and it, it seemed good, but the downfall, obviously they promised 10-10 they also promised even more than that and they couldn't deliver so it got put down as missold and after a good few weeks maybe a couple of months i eventually got them to cancel it without trying to charge me because they were trying to charge me and they were asking me to pay 245 pounds for this connection at first i was like well if i can upgrade it and i can have like 40 down 40 up that'd be perfect i don't mind i'll pay 245 pounds for that yeah, especially if it's private lease but uh, yeah, it never, it never came to fruition because obviously they, they missold it. And I was like, no, sorry, you missold it. Put my foot down. Sorry, mate, but you missold it. It's your fault. So yeah, that eventually got sorted. Um, for people who don't know, it did get sorted. They uh, waived all the charges and everything. They even gave me a credit note. And uh, I used that for a couple of times to pay my internet bill for about two or three times because they... Uh, gave me a hundred pound uh, credit note to, to fix that. So that was pretty cool. Um, Rio's here, as you can tell. Say hello. So yeah, so that, that got sorted. And obviously we went back to the OBT connection and the other line still exists in the house. Even though they told me they were gonna come and take it out. They said it was gonna take away the old routers and the Cisco Marakis. They're still here, they've never taken them. So. I don't know what's going to happen to them. I've just kept them in boxes just in case because I don't want them to charge me for them just in case they come over. So I don't know. I don't know what they're going to do with that. So yeah. So 
So the, the logic or the understanding around this, even though I've beaten around the bush for nearly 15 minutes, just over 15 minutes, just about now, this 15 minutes, um, I want you to try them because if they're a smaller company and I've got lots of people on the line, maybe I'll get the effect what I got when my phone line went down and there was less people on the line because there was less people I was connected to uh, in order, you know, in order to do it. And if I'm on a separate circuit or separate line to other people because it's a different company, then hopefully that would be the case. Now, like I said, it could be that they just take over the line. It makes no difference. To be honest, that's okay if it, if it was because they are cheap charging me cheaper for the connection anyway so we're getting the, the, the actual connection for cheaper and uh, i won't be paying 40 odd to 50 odd pounds a month which is what i'm paying with bt for 34 and 5. they've also promised me when i've spoken to them that they can give me 44 down and 8 upload so this is what they said that they can commit is that I would get a 44 download and 8 upload. Now I explained to him and I said, look, I'm five kilometers from the exchange. Um, obviously, with BT, I get 34 and 5. And I said, are you telling me then that you can give me 44 and 8? And I said, you know, I need to know that for definite. So they said that they tested the line and now guaranteed they could give me 44 and 8. Even though I am five kilometers and everything, and so on and so forth. If they can do that, that would be great because that means then I get extra down, I get extra upload and I get better download. Now, this could be, like I said, the same reasoning to what I said before because there's not many people join to be online, it means that there's lesser people that I'm going to have to contend with, and it's just going to be me, obviously, on that line or me with a couple of others that might not be online and that would be it i don't know fully well obviously i'm not a service engineer i'm not an engineer i'm not up and reach or anything like that so i'm sure uh we've got some convicts out there who obviously know about this and we all just decided to plonk his bum in the most awkwardest place didn't you so uh yeah i'm sure there's some people out there that will be able to obviously let me know if that's going to be the case or not but like I said, either way, it's kind of like a, a win anyway, because it means I get a cheaper internet connection. I get a cheaper internet. It's not going to be 40 to 60 pounds, which is going to be easier for me to work with uh, and obviously run that kind of line than to pay 40 to 60 uh, pounds, which I've been doing, depending on obviously if we use the phone line. I generally don't, but I think it comes to about 45, 47 pounds. I think it is, and uh, this bill that's just come out is 50 summer pounds. It's a bit, a bit more expensive. I'm assuming it's because they're charging me for the end charges that leading up to obviously this connection when it uh, changes over to be online on Monday. Let me move this off here because he's going to stand on the table like so. Dad's autism, and this is what he's like, he jumps off everything. You bring something new in the house, he'll try and climb on it and jump off it. He's absolutely nuts. Mm. Nut looking. This is what I get from him all the time. You can't tell him. The more you tell him no, the worse he gets. So it's kind of like a, a lose-lose situation <laughs> with Rio. Because the more you tell him, the worse you get, don't you? You get worse, don't you? It gets worse and he, he, he does it more and more and more. So I found it's easier to kind of let him get on with it, get it over and done with. And then because I'm not constantly telling him, he kind of stops doing it. Almost like he's trying to attention seek. And then because I'm not giving him his attention, he then decides, no, I'm not going to do it anymore now, which is he's now gone. Right, so I'm going to leave it here because I've just blabbed on for 20 minutes. And uh, obviously this video is not going to get monetized anytime soon. Uh, but um, yeah, we'll, we'll see. I will keep you up to date in regards to the YouTube partner program, which I'm no longer part of. Uh, obviously due to Google AdSense cancelling my account. And uh, we'll, we'll see. But like I said, please, 
If you can, be very kind, go onto Twitter and like my tweets in regards to uh, the video that I posted with me being unpartnered. Also, like the tweets that I've done in regards to, you know, trying to speak to Susan, the CEO of YouTube. I've tried speaking to YouTube and uh, their side of it to ask them for help and to say, look, I've been with you since July 2013 was the official like opening of the account, but it wasn't until November that we actually started the same year in 2013 when PlayStation 4 launched and obviously I could record through the PlayStation 4 like you know, I do now with the PC and obviously sometimes with PlayStation, which I used to do previous when I didn't have my PC until I built it recently. So, yeah, that's about all I need to say. I just want to do this quick unboxing and sort of kind of give you a bit of a chit chat and just kind of let you know what's going on and how things are doing. I'm going to go take him to bed now because it's nearly half past nine and I don't want him to oversleep or anything because I like to bath him. And then as soon as I bath him, take him straight to bed because he's nice and cool, relaxed, and it helps him to sleep. And uh, he has slept a bit this afternoon, so I know it's going to be a nightmare to get to sleep tonight until late. So wish me luck. I'm going to need it. But uh, yeah, it is I, the Kappa Convict, signing out. And as always, I salute you, my convicts and convicts. Thank you very much. Appreciate you. Please, if you haven't already, go over to Twitch and drop me a follow. It's twitch.tv forward slash Kappa Convict with no spaces, all in lower caps. So that's twitch.tv forward slash Kappa Convict altogether in lowercase. And uh, hopefully I'll see you over there. Drop me a follow. And uh, yeah, hopefully we can do well. We're, we've got over 100 subscribers. Uh, what? Over 100 followers, I should say, not 100 subscribers. We've got 100 followers on Twitch, and we've got, I think, up to five people who've actually subscribed, paying like a subscription, a tier one subscription fee, which I salute you. Thank you, thank you, extremely, uh, for your extreme generosity. I, I really do appreciate that very, very much. So, obviously, with these trying times at the moment and the problems I'm having. So, yeah, we'll see how we go. I've not heard from Google at all regarding Google Analytics, uh, Google AdSense, I should say. So I'll just have to wait and see. I have put through to uh, obviously dispute it, but we'll see what happens when it happens. I'll uh, let you know. And like I said, officially Monday will be the changeover. So we'll say right now before we finish, I apologize if on Monday I don't live stream. I will try my best, but I will apologize if I don't because of depending how quick connections are gonna swap between them and BT. I don't know what point it's going to cut off to when obviously I'm going to be physically connected to be online. So uh, Monday may be a scuff day. I'm just gonna Put it out now, okay? Monday may be a bit of a scuff day. If I can do it through the TP link, we will try, but I really don't think the TP link will manage to play games and live stream at the same time. It's always been one of those annoying things where you can either have the TP link to supply the internet or the TP link to play the game. You can't do both, but we'll, we'll see what happens when it happens. Anyway, I'm going to go. I've been blabbing on. And this is not monetized. <laughs> Which, I'm not bothered. You know, end of the day, whatever. Um, YouTube, help your boy out. Yeah? Bye for now.